about this project about the hunter? Uh, about a year and a half ago. And uh, how did you get involved? What, what is it, what's your role? What is that, the activity that you do? Um, Oceaneering uh, was approached to uh, do a feasibility study and a, a plan and come up with a rough order of magnitude cost to raise the Hunley. Um, because of my experience in diving and in salvage, uh, Oceaneering chose me to, to uh, uh, help write that plan. Um, we did that, presented the plan to uh, the Hunley Commission. They accepted it, and we got the follow-on contract to do the uh, engineering for the recovery system. And I was the project manager for that and for the subsequent recovery effort. Now tell me about this platform that we're on here. Is, um, is this like a customized thing for this project? No, this is a this is a, a jack-up crane barge. It's uh, used uh, for uh, belongs to a salvage company called Titan Marine. They do uh, salvage work with it all around the uh, all around the world with it. It's uh, Used to belong to the Corps of Engineers. It was a, a, a ten-legged jack-up accommodation and work platform. They cut it in half, put this 350-ton Manitowoc crane on it, and they've been using it for uh, the last two or three years, I think. And um, what um, is this an exciting project for you because of the historical value? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh, um, it's. You know, fun to do something that uh, means as much as this means to a lot of people down here uh, in South Carolina. It's uh, um, it, it means a lot to the people here, uh, and it's you know just the historical value of the of the submarine in that it was the the first submarine to successfully sink another warship. I mean, it's the very first. Anytime you do something like that, that it's the first or the biggest or the deepest or whatever, it's always. Uh, you know, it always adds a little more excitement to it. Now, when this thing is raised on Tuesday, what are some of your main concerns about this? Um, well, we still, you know, we still have concerns about the the ultimate strength of the hull. I mean, we know that the the metal in the hull is in good shape, but it's a set of plates that are held together by rivets, and the rivets themselves are are questionable. Uh, so the biggest worry is that it, uh, you know, that it breaks, that it falls apart, uh, that it cracks open. Uh, those are all the worries. I mean, we'll get it. the The worry is, and, and the goal is to, by the time we get it in that lab and in the Navy Yard, that it's exactly as it is now. I mean, that's the goal, and that's, you know, that's a that's a challenge to do that. That's why we're we're taking all the you know, going through all the steps that we're going through. It's not enough to just get it up. Uh, we want to get it up without altering it or damaging it at all. And that's that's a big goal with something that's 130, you know, been underwater for 136 years. And um, what was one of the more interesting, more innovative things that you guys came up with to salvage this? Well, we've got a lot of different stuff that's never been used for, for uh, this particular purpose. Uh, the, the suction pile support system that we put down. Uh, I mean, we didn't invent anything for this, but but uh, we're using a lot of technology and a lot of techniques that have never been been used for this purpose or used together. Uh, the suction piles uh, they're they're used in the oil field, but they're used in the oil field for moorings, for mooring up platforms in deep water. No one's ever used them in shallow water for a support structure before, but. We couldn't use a traditional pile system because we didn't want to drive piles next to the Hunley and transmit that shock through the through the seafloor to the to the Hunley. So we had to we had to come up with a with a different method. And uh, you want to answer that? Go ahead. Yeah.